Welcome, my friends, to a place where we share inspiration and positivity. Welcome to another exciting video where we'll be shedding light on Mount Katahdin. Mount Katahdin is the highest mountain in the US state of Maine at 5,269 foot. Named Katahdin, which means Great Mountain, by the Penobscot Native Americans, it is within northeast Piscataquis, Piscataquis County, and is the centerpiece of Baxter State Park. It is a steep, tall massif formed from a granite intrusion weathered to the surface. The flora and fauna on the mountain are typical of those found in northern New England. Katahdin was known to the Native Americans in the region and was known to Europeans at least since 1689. It has inspired hikes, climbs, journal narratives, paintings, and a piano sonata. The area around the peak was protected by Governor Percival Baxter starting in the Urs. Katahdin is the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail and is near a stretch known as the Hundred Mile Wilderness. In 1967, Mount Katahdin was designated as a National Natural Landmark by the National Park Service. The mountain is commonly called just Katahdin, though the official name is Mount Katahdin as decided by the US Board on Geographic Names in 1893. Now, let's redirect our focus towards geography and discover its significance in our narrative. Katahdin is in Baxter State Park, which is in east-central Piscataquis County, about 25 miles northwest of Millinocket. It is on the drainage divide between the east and west branches of the Penobscot River. The mountain massif itself consists of multiple peaks. Baxter Peak is the tallest and is the official northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. South Peak and Pamola Peak are southeast and east of Baxter Peak, respectively along the Knife Edge Ridge line, while Hamlin Peak lies to the north. There is low lake country to the south and west of Katahdin, and lowlands extending east to the Atlantic and north to the St. Lawrence River in Canada. It is commonly thought that Katahdin is the first place in the United States mainland to receive sunlight in the morning, but this is incorrect. Other mountains lower in elevation but farther to the east or southeast see the first sunrise of the day depending on the season. Turning our focus to geology, let's explore its key elements. Katahdin is part of a laccolith that formed in the Acadian origin when an island arc collided with eastern North America approximately 400 million years ago. On the sides of Katahdin are four glacial cirques carved into the granite by alpine glaciers and in these cirques behind moraines and eskers are several ponds. In Baxter State Park, many outcrops of sedimentary rocks have striations, whereas Katahdin granite and Travelorheolite lava have weathered surfaces on which striations are commonly not preserved. Bedrock surfaces of igneous rocks which were buried by glacial sediments and only recently exposed have well-preserved striations, as in the vicinity of Ripagenis Dam. Several outcrops of sedimentary rocks along the Patton Road show striations, especially on the north side of the road at Hurricane Deck. A few outcrops near the Patton Road just north of Horse Mountain are striated, as are several outcrops of sedimentary rocks along the road from Trout Brook Farm northward to Second Lake Matigaman. Brace yourself for an enlightening exploration of fauna as we dive into its profound implications. Fauna include black bear, deer, and moose as well as black flies and mosquitoes in the spring. A subspecies of arctic butterfly, known as the Katahdin arctic onis polixens katahdin is specific to the area and is currently listed as endangered. Among the birds are big nels thrush and various songbirds and raptors. A study of the animal communities was published by Irving H. Blake in 1926. The flora includes pine, spruce, fir, hemlock, beech, maple, birch, aspen, and pincushion plant Diopincia lapinica. In this chapter, we'll be shedding light on human history and its role in shaping our understanding. Thumbaprita Mount Katahdin from Millinicket Camp by Frederick Egrin Church, 1895. Katahdin is referred to 60 years after Fields' climb of Egeokokok Mount Washington in the writings of John Giles, a teenage colonist who was captured near Portland, Maine, in 1689 by the Abenaki. While in the company of Abenaki hunting parties, 
he travelled up and down several main rivers including both branches of the Penobscot, passing close to Tiden. He remarked that it was higher than the White Hills above the Saco River. Among some Native Americans, Katodin was believed to be the home of the storm god Pamoa, and thus an area to be avoided. The first recorded climb of Katodin was by Massachusetts surveyors Zachary Adley and Charles Turner, Jr. in August 1804. In the Urs Henry David Thoreau climbed Katodin, which he spelled Tom, his ascent is recorded in a well-known chapter of the Maine Woods. A few years later Theodore Winthrop wrote about his visit in life in the open air. Painters Frederick Edwin Church and Marston Hartley are well-known artists who created landscapes of Katodin. On 30 November 2011, Christie's Auction Church's 1860 painting Twilight Katodin for $3.10 million. The letter describing the ascent of Charles Turner Jr. states that they began at the West Branch Penobscot at 8 a.m. and arrived on the summit at 5 p.m. guided by two Native Americans who were initially cautious but when the cold part of the mountain was reached and sensing the determination of the others became ambitious to reach the top first. Turner lists his party as William Howe, Amos Patton, Joseph Treat, Samuel Call, William Rice, Richard Winslow, Charles Turner, Jr. in the Urs Governor Percival Baxter began to acquire land and finally deeded more than 200,000 acre to the state of Maine for a park named Baxter State Park after him. The summit was officially recognized by the U.S. Board on Geographic Names as Baxter Peak in 1931. Elizabeth Oakes Smith climbed Mount Cathodin in a reportedly the first white woman to do so. In this chapter, we'll be unraveling the enigma of recreation opportunities and discovering its transformative power. As the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail and southern terminus of the International Appalachian Trail, Cathodin is a popular hiking and backpacking destination and the centerpiece of Baxter State Park. Baxter State Park is open year-round though strictly regulated in winter. The overnight camping season is, weather permitting, from May 15 to October 15 each year, with some campgrounds staying open until October 22. Capacity limits have been placed on day-use parking at the trailheads to minimize the overuse of trails. Mount Katodin has several trails leading up to Baxter, Hamola, or Hamlin Peaks. These trails start right up the mountain, but each trail on the mountain ends up taking 8 to 10 hours round trip depending on ability. Even for experienced hikers, Hathodin is often considered one of the most challenging hikes in the entire Appalachian mountain range. The rest of the trails go up the north side or west side of the mountain. These are accessed from the Chimney Pond Trail. For these trails, hikers must park at the Roaring Brook Campground and Hike Inch. All trails are maintained by the Baxter State Park Authority, which runs the state park. All of the trails on the mountain are classified as very strenuous, the highest classification the park authority gives, except for Saddle Strenuous, Hammon Ridge Trail Moderate, and Chimney Pond Moderate. The most famous hike to the summit goes along Knife Edge, a glacial art which traverses the ridge between Pamola Peak and Baxter Peak. There have been more than 60 deaths on Cat Hodden since 1933 including October 8 and 9, 2020. The park as a whole typically sees a need for roughly 40 search and rescue events per year 1 in 2,000 hikers with a peak of 70 in 2013. The vast majority of incidents occur in the summer months, and the primary causes are leg injury, exhaustion, dehydration and disorientation. Moving forward, we'll be taking a closer look at namesakes. Two U.S. Navy ships have been named USS Katodin. Katodin is also the name of a 1914 steamboat later converted to diesel owned by the Moosehead Marine Museum that plies the waters of Moosehead Lake in northern Maine. The Katodin potato, which was certified by the U.S. Department of Agriculture in 1932 and is still popular in the northeastern United States. The Katodin sheep. Composer Alan Hohannes composed a sonata for piano in 1987 titled Mount Katodin, dedicated to Carlton South. Coon for his 60th birthday. Katodin is a monster in 1979 horror film Prophecy. 
Your feedback helps me improve, so please take a moment to leave a comment or review.